I'm here with uh, Karen Zivner, uh, <laughs> an athlete, swimmer. Um, you swim butterfly. Yes. Uh, tell me a little bit about uh, what's the swim and um, do you like butterfly? I like butterfly. I only started swimming butterfly when I was 20. I was a freestyle swimmer since I was nine years old. So uh, yeah, it was a big change and it's not very uh, normal for someone to change a stroke so late on, later on in the career. But uh, I just, I felt like changing because I was a little bored with freestyle, always swimming the same events. Uh, so I started swimming butterfly in college in uh, Georgia Tech and I like it much better. But now I like the freestyle again. It's like <laughs> because fly. I started. When was the okay. first time you swam faster than one, uh, one minute in, in the 100 short freestyle? In course I remember because I had a deal with my coach. He said if you go under uh, a minute, I, I'll take you to lunch, like on me. <laughs> so I went 59 short course. I think I was like 13. 13. It was pretty. I was it's pretty fast. young. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, but I didn't get much better. Like I improved till I was 16, and then I I kind of stayed on the same results. And actually now, when I'm not really training much freestyle, I'm getting better in the freestyle. And uh, I remember uh, people yeah. said uh, that you're probably going to stop and you're gonna not going to improve your swimming. But uh, you improve yourself all the time, even uh, though you're 25. It's a little yeah. old to be a swimmer. Actually, like my biggest improvement was only last year, I think. Uh, I think it's because I'm really enjoying swimming now. I'm not doing it because I have to or because I want to get something from it. You know, like before I went to college, I, that was my dream. I wanted to make it to college and I was swimming to be like in college. You have to do it. It's not like it's uh, uh, for fun. Like I did still enjoy it, but but now I feel like I'm enjoying it much more because it's like only from the heart and not anything else and you were a good student yeah um, and you were an ADHD uh, kid yeah. you had to do all the time lots of things uh, but you were a good student in Georgia Tech even very good yeah I worked really hard to be a good student it didn't come easy at all uh, but I, I just found ways to get better in school uh, even though it took much more effort and much more time I I found those ways. <laughs> to is it possible to uh, learn and swim? Uh, yeah, it is. I think the more things I have during the day, the more activities I'm doing, the better I am at it. You know, if I like, if I don't swim one day, I feel like I do everything just horribly. I can't do anything. And then when I have a lot of things to uh, to do, I just I I do it like. Yeah. Now, what Much do you want to do? Um, you have goals now in swimming. What's your goal yes. in swimming? Uh, my goal is the Olympics now. Yeah, it's funny that I'm saying it because I never thought about it before. Only the past like six months, I, I was like, I want to make it to the Olympics. It's funny because I've been swimming for 15 years and only now this is my dream. But. You have to work hard. It's, it's better late than never. Okay. Yeah, you need to work hard to get that. But so, I believe it's possible. Yeah. So you're going to tell us a little bit what's to swim uh, every day for 15, even more years and about ADHD. Uh, we'll be with you right in a moment. Yeah.